giving each group of you a different era of history to research. And the question is, what impact did your era have on the modern world? So Sarah, your group has the ancient Greeks. Ravi, you've got the Romans. And Danny's group gets, ah yes, a bit of a challenge for you. You get the Middle Ages. Some even call it the Dark Ages. Boring. See how you get on. Yes, miss. So, Sri, yes, you get the Renaissance. Is that the librarian? I guess so. How are the Dark Ages going to have anything to do with us? Uh, uh, excuse me. Sorry to bother you. What do you want? Uh, we need to find out what impact the Dark Ages had on the modern world. Never was a period of history so poorly named. Don't touch. It's priceless. And I suppose someone's been filling your head with the usual nonsense, eh? A thousand wasted years. A black hole in history. Am I right? Um, uh, yeah, sort of. You see, it's always the same. You assume it was all mud, disease, death and destruction, with marauding mobs of barbarians ripping down the good of former civilizations, burning and plundering as they went. Nothing of any worth invented either, eh? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Go on, Biofi. Sorry to bother you. Come on, it's probably not worth it. Everyone knows that the Greeks and Romans invented everything anyway. Oh, did they now? And you're sure about that, are you? You know, I might just have something for you. You seem to be up to the task. I suppose I could... Follow me. I've got just the book for you. going from darkness into light my young friend from ocean onto land there are things you should know oh yes indeed yes indeed now I know I left it around here somewhere ah here it is now, take a look. If you dare. What's going on? Welcome to the Dark Ages, or as it should be known, the Golden Ages. Who are you? I am Al Jazari, engineer and ingenious inventor. I thought you said this was the Dark Ages. It doesn't look very dark. That's because it's all a matter of perspective, my soon-to-be illuminated friend. Of course, there are parts of the world that weren't dark at all, but in a civilization that stretched from Spain to China, the golden rays of discovery and invention shone over everything. What civilization? The Muslim civilization, my young friend. Through scholars and scientists of various faiths, some of the most important discoveries known to man were made at this time. Discoveries that drew on knowledge of the ancients, but have more connections with your modern world than you could possibly ever imagine. Like what? Well... <laughs> All sorts of things. I've got to get a picture of this. 
I knew it was a good idea. Who are you? Allow me to introduce Ibn al Haytham, a great scientist whose ideas led to the invention of the camera. You invented the camera? I laid the foundations for modern cameras by explaining how our eyes work. I found a way of projecting an image onto another surface through a small hole in a dark room, later called Camera Obscura. Think of all the things that evolved from this discovery. Cameras, cinema, all share the same principle. Cool. Look out below! Who's that? That's my good friend, Abbas ibn Farnas, who gazed up to the heavens, passionate in his belief that man could fly. Whoa. Indeed, he dared to dream about flying a thousand years before the Wright brothers. Do you know you all take your jet-setting holidays for granted, so it only seems fair to remember Abbas Ibn Farnas. Stand by. I'm ready for takeoff. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. He did forget one thing, though. A tail, useful for landing. Ah, my back. Is there a doctor in the house? Did someone call? Ah, my. Old friend, why don't you introduce yourself to my young guests? I am Abul Qasim al Zahrawi. Many call me the father of surgery. Did you actually do surgery back then? Of course we did. In fact, many of the surgical tools that I invented are still used in your modern hospitals. Excuse me, a patient needs my attention. Scalpel? I think I may need some stitches. In that case, I'll use cat gut. Cat gut? From the gut of animals. Perfect for stitching up internal wounds. Your surgeons are still using it today. Sorry, mustache. Who's she? That's Mariam of Astrolabi. One of the many brilliant women of her time. She made Sophisticated astrolabes. Astro what? Astrolabes. They show the sky and the stars on a small flat plate you can hold in your hand. Think of them as ancient calculating or timekeeping devices. Today you have your watch, your compass, satellite navigation, helping people and explorers travel the world. Science at its brilliant best. And all these things were developed during the golden ages. Well, that's just the tip of the iceberg. There were thousands of other inventions covering all areas of life, and in the years that followed, their influence spread across the whole of medieval Europe. So you see, it wasn't so dark after all. What about you? Me? What did you invent? Well, I don't want to be big headed, but I made some groundbreaking advances in engineering. I suppose my most significant discovery converted rotary motion into linear motion using a crank and connecting rod. It's essential in pumps and engines. In fact, I've no idea how the Industrial Revolution could have happened hundreds of years later without such a device. Well, oh, I ever get the credit I deserve. But my crowning glory was my amazing time-telling machine. My legendary elephant clock. It's a clock. Yes. Dozens of components collected from different cultures around the world. Indian, Greek, Arabian, Egyptian, Chinese. Wow. A United Nations clock. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Does it actually tell the time? Well, yes, of course. If it wasn't for me, thousands of people would be late for everything. <laughs> Speaking of time, we'd better get you back. And remember, 
spread the word. This is the golden age. And I've only shown you a tiny part of this wondrous time. There are countless other scientists and inventions directly connected to your modern world. You're just going to have to find out for yourselves. Awake! 